Welcome to the fitting portion of the video. Before we get started, we're gonna set you up for success. Make sure you've got a room with plenty of room and then make sure you've got something to hold on to, maybe a couch or a table or a railing so that you can practice moving around. First step is we're gonna measure Bodhi's leg. We're gonna measure from the ground to the top of his knee and it measures 22 inches. On our freedom leg, there are little marks on the inside and we're gonna start putting it at 22 inches. Slide the lower to the desired level that we measured and then we're gonna place the pins. Place the pins from inside to out so that they don't fall out. So now we're gonna have Bodhi slide forward on the table so there's room for us to fit the brace. We're gonna undo the Velcro, move it out of the way, and he's gonna drop his leg in from the top. Everybody feels a little bit differently. When I fit mine, I fit it right into the crease in the back of my knee. Bodhi likes his a little higher. It depends on where, where the musculature of your leg is and everybody's got a little bit different shape. Pay attention to the distance from the posterior knee crease to the edge of the thigh strap. Measure it with your fingers. This is four fingers distance, and then that'll help you get a consistent, reliable fit every time you put the brace on. Now we're ready to attach the thigh straps. I like to start with the lower one. You want these nice and firm. They're gonna minimize motion between your brace and the leg. Make them as tight as you can while maintaining comfort. Now it's time to fit the shin pads. Bodhi's gonna tighten that up. If you're wearing a boot, you may prefer to get rid of this pad and it's easy to do. You just take that off and then strap it back on like you did with the pad included. And that's sometimes better if there's a lot of material there or you've got a big boot. And then we do the same thing with the bottom strap. There are two straps on the back you can adjust those to comfort level. They're gonna keep the brace with your leg while you swing it forward. You may wanna adjust those if you're wearing a boot. The other thing you wanna pay attention to at this point in the game is keep your ankle at 90 degrees. After surgery, you'll be in a boot, you'll be in a splint, you'll be in a cast, your foot will be at 90 degrees. So you wanna put it at 90 degrees such that you can assess the length properly. If you're having Achilles surgery or surgery on the muscles or tendons to the back of the ankle, you may be in a plantar flex position and you need to account for that. So fit the freedom leg with your foot pointed down. Now we're ready to stand up the first time, push off on something, hold onto the table, bring your other foot off the ground and balance and feel that pivot point. You're gonna feel tension on the back of the thigh and on the front of the shin. We're looking for some clearance here that allows for the boot and your, your foot so your post-op boot, if you're gonna wear a post-op boot or a splint or a cast, to clear the ground so you're not bearing any weight. We can adjust the top strap to increase the angle between the thigh and the lower leg, and the thigh cuff will pivot around the bottom screw. Bodhi's gonna undo this top strap, undo the bottom strap. Now he can slide down, you see the cuff pivot. He reattaches the bottom strap and then reattaches the top strap. When your freedom leg is fit correctly, your hips will be level as you walk. You'll still have to pick your leg up a little bit to swing it through, but you want these hips to be level. Finally, you can take your first steps. First steps are gonna be slow and short. Feel free to hold on to something at this stage of the game. Walking with a stick is helpful. You can walk with crutches. You can walk with a walker. The good news is your hands are totally free to catch you in case there's a problem, so you can even use the walls to stabilize yourself. Be aware that you'll need to lift the hip and or swing your leg out to the side slightly. Be careful not to catch the brace on the ground when swinging through. Now you're off to the races. Wear your freedom leg out to the yard, to the beach, out in the woods, to the shop, or wherever else you wanna go. Let's talk about navigating stairs. Always stop at the top of the stairwell for a moment. Most falls happen after you've gotten comfortable and you started thinking about other things. Practice on a stairwell with handrails first. The great news about the freedom leg is that you can use both hands. On the way up, you're gonna lead with the good leg. On the way down, you're gonna lead with the freedom leg. Be careful to clear the step with the freedom leg on the way up so that you don't catch it and trip. 